Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Bhushan. In the previous video, we have deployed the Spring Boot application to the uh, production server, which is railway.app. And in this video, we're going to deploy the another Spring Boot application that connects to the MySQL database. So let's get started. In case if you missed that video, the link will be given in the description section of this video. Let's go to the STS. I have already created a Spring Boot application that connects to the MySQL database. If you open the application or properties file, I have connected to the local database system uh, demo DB and our application is running on the port 8080 and if you go to the browser and navigate to localhost 8080 slash employees you will see the two records Bhushan and Bharat. Now we are going to deploy this application to the railway.app and I have logged into my railway.app inside the dashboard create a project and inside this I'm going to create a add service and click on this database. I'm going to choose MySQL. In case if you're using PostgreSQL database, you can choose this as well. Uh, the configuration is pretty straightforward. Click on this add MySQL and this will start spinning up the MySQL database. Just wait for a couple of seconds. And you will see all aboard and click on this and you will see the uh, environment variables and you can go to this connect you will see the connection url and if you go to the variables you will see all the variables it contains the host name password port username and all other things okay so we're going to copy these values and we're going to add it to our spring boot application so first let's copy the host and go to our sts id and instead of the local host, we're going to add the host name. And similarly, let's copy the port. Let's copy the port and change the port number as well. And we're going to see the MySQL database, the database name, which is railway. So let's copy this and paste it. And also we're going to copy the uh, username. Let's copy the username. I think it will be root as its root and password let's copy the password and paste it and save this and now let me stop this first of all let's stop this server and once you have configured this we can run this locally so to test it so what i'll do is let's go to the demo application and right click choose run as choose spring boot application and it has been started if you go to the mysql workbench first of all we have to uh, configure the data source we have to connect to the database inside our mysql workbench so i'm going to connect to the so let's call this railway host provider and we need the host name let's go to our sts and copy the host name copy the host name you can also copy the port number let's copy the port number uh, the username which is same password let's copy this add it into keychain paste it click ok before saving this you can test the connection you will see the success prompt click ok and click ok so now if you go inside this you can manage your database inside this uh, MySQL workbench. Just wait for a couple of seconds. It will open since it is a remote database and it will take time. So if you expand this and you will see we have the tables TBL underscore employees. Right now there are no records we can insert manually. So let's go to our localhost and local database and copy the query and paste it and execute this you will see the the query has been executed now if you see we have two records inside our production database as well so this is enough for testing purpose now let's go to our sts what i have done is i have already pushed this code to the github repository if you go to the github we have this already but the recent changes what we have made that is not yet uh, present we just need to uh, push those changes to the github repository 
let's open the terminal let's push the latest changes I'm gonna clear this git status you will see the latest changes git add dot git commit minus m configure data source and hit enter git push origin master this is going to push all the latest changes to the github repository let's go to the github repository and refresh this you will see the latest commit that is configured data source now all we need to do is we need to push this to the uh, the railway.app cloud hosting provider so go to the railway.app and here we are going to create a new service right click choose empty service and it will create the empty service and open that service go to settings and click on this generate domain it will generate the domain for us this is the domain and now let's go to the settings okay we are inside the settings and here under the service source click on this connect repository and we're going to choose database a uh, demo database click on this so this will start building the application and uh, like I said before for the first time this will take a couple of minutes so let's close this and you can click on this and you can wait for a couple of minutes to complete this build I'm gonna pause this and I will come back once this is deployment is done you can see the deployment is done you can click on this view logs to see the build logs as well as the deployment logs so if you go to the build logs you will see all the logs successfully built and you can see this build success and now if you go to the deploy logs you will see the logs in just a minute just wait for a couple of seconds you will see the deployment logs as well you can also go to this URL and see let's go to this URL and go to this slash employees enter you will see the two records Bhushan and Bharat and if you go to this railway.app you will see the deployment logs uh, still we are not able to see we are going to see it you can just refresh this as well we should see the deployment logs but for some reasons we are not able to see the deployment logs but if you look at the URL we are able to see the logs we are able to see the records Bhushan and Bharat so this is how we can connect the MySQL database to the uh, application which we have created inside the railway.app similarly uh, how we have created the MySQL database you can also create the Redis database the PostgreSQL database and MongoDB database the process is pretty same for all the databases all right that's all about this video thank you so much for watching in the next video we will see how we can configure a custom url how we can add a custom uh, domain to this url instead of using this uh, url we can see how we can add a custom domain from godaddy that is coming up in the next video i will see you in the next video